Thanks for watching tonight. Four armed robberies within six miles of each other, all in just a matter of two days. It's a spree. The Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office is working with city police to try and figure out if these crimes are connected. Let's show you a map of where each of these uh, incidents happened. The latest this morning at the Sphinx across from the Westgate Mall, it is the third gas station hit. The fourth robbery took place at a Waffle House in Roebuck. Let's go to Diane Lee to explain why police need your help. Well, Gordon, police want you to take a look at the surveillance photos, and this is the first incident that happened early Sunday morning. This is the one that happened this morning, but it's not just the similar clothing and bandanas that have law enforcement looking into a possible connection. This is the face of a man who doesn't want to be caught. It was taken from surveillance footage at the Circle K gas station on Blackstock Road and Moore, the site of the first of four nearby armed robberies in just 52 hours. The witness account in the sheriff's office report says the male's skin was completely covered with a black hooded jacket, a mask, and bandana. If you look at it, you can really see that there are some similarities in the clothing uh, and those type things. Major Art Littlejohn with the Spartanburg Police says they're working with the sheriff's office to determine if the three robberies in the county were by the same man. Even the narratives of what happened are similar, with a roughly five foot five suspect often entering the side door saying few words besides hurry up. Uh, I think there may be a little bit of differences, but basically a lot of the things are the same. Here's one of the images from the Waffle House on 221 in Roebuck that was hit up early Monday morning. I'm, I'm a little startled that you told me that. Mike Peeler eats there every week. He says years back he witnessed another robbery at a nearby restaurant. It's funny is that it was in the same general location as the other one I was involved in. This morning, this gas station became the second Spartanburg area Sphinx hit up in two days. Surprised? No, I'm not surprised, to be honest. And on, I mean, I don't know what they could do to stop it. The sheriff's office says tipsters can remain anonymous, and if that information leads to an arrest, they could be eligible for a cash reward. So take another close look at the person or persons in these photos and call 1 800 Crime SC if you think you can help catch him. Well, I mean, look, armed robberies at, at convenience stores and that sort of thing, I mean, that's not new. Not They've been happening in a long right. time. But there, there does seem to be a connection here. Do they think it's just one person doing this over and over or people who know each other? That's a great question. They, they, they think it may be one person. They're looking into all of the different traits, but they also think that this guy might have some help because there are some surveillance uh, videos out there with some of the gas stations that show a second person that's helping this guy get out the back. I mean, what's scary is if you have four of these in the span of really 48 hours, a yeah. little bit more than that. There's always the threat this is going to keep happening until exactly. this, this gets stopped. Right, which is why it's so important for people to call 1 888 Crime SC if you recognize anything about these yeah. photos. Okay, Diane Lee, thank you.